Nellians. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to talk about a service within our work that we are launching or we have started on and we are launching tonight, which we call Managed Relocation Services or Managed Relocation Service, sorry. Some years ago, a study was done in the US that found out that moving house was the third most stressful thing in the world, only after death of a loved one, or sadly, a divorce. Third most stressful thing in the world. In Kenya, I've heard many times people say, moving house or relocating is very stressful. And they are right. At the global level, Organized Corporate Relocation Service is an $18 billion industry annual. And it is expected to grow to about $28 billion by the year 2030. Sadly though, only 2% of this business is within the Sub-Saharan Africa. Think about that. The industry is 18 billion, but only 2% of it is within our continent, the Sub-Saharan Africa. In Kenya and generally in East Africa, and also within Africa, moving and relocation services are not fully appreciated. Hence, it is difficult even to get industry data. People don't pay attention even to count how much it costs or the cost of the stress that they go through. Not to even to mention the cost of damages and the disruptions that go within their lives when their moving is mismanaged. Many don't count the cost of downtime, including businesses, and many have little idea what their employees go through when they are locating them. A lot of people are told, oh, well, we'll give you some money, you know, 10,000 or 20,000 or whatever. I'm going to Mombasa. Well, Jipange, you know, we, we give you. But no, most people have no idea what that employee who you say is your most valuable asset goes through what you have told them. Jipange. To use our language. Indeed, sadly, even at the corporate level, level Moving services are confused with courier services or even general transporters because people don't know. And they don't know. In the room, we have many diplomats and diplomatic missions. They do understand this. And that's why many of them have organized programs for their employees. And we are so proud that we partner with many of them. Government departments, multinational organizations, and large financial institutions, and even international NGOs invest heavily in recruiting the best talent and give them good parts and always say employees are their best assets. But as I said earlier, their relocation experience is not always the best. They always consider many variables but leave the critical last action of the last minute moving, sorry, the, the, the critical action of moving to the last minute, sometimes without, without much clue about costs or even what a good relocation experience looks like. They will spend a lot of resources in obtaining office space, but give little thought about what will happen on the actual moving day. How will their expensive office equipment or their data centers and servers will be moved? They don't know. Last year, oh no, sorry, not last year, last month actually, or two months ago, we had the experience of moving data centers for one of the biggest banks in Kenya. And it was a very good experience because when they called moving companies, 
one of the questions they asked, are your vehicles made of fiber body or are they made of steel body? How many of us know that such equipment like data centers are supposed to move in fiber bodies? Most people have no idea. And we were proudly given that job because we knew what we were doing and they could understand and they could see we are ready for them with the right assets and the right people. But that's a rare case. It's one of a kind. That's why people always have hallowing stories about moving because of lack of knowledge and preparedness and think it's just about cost. I want us to imagine a society where all employees were shown through action that they are truly valued during that critical relocation moment because the organization that they work for has onboarded a respectable relocation expert to handle their move. By the way, in moving, sometimes the advice is more important than the actual move. We tell people, especially at the international level, you start with the end in mind in moving. You don't start with the, what I'm doing now. Because things go, I can see Oscar, my colleague from Tanzania, nodding. He knows. These go, always go wrong at the end. But most people don't know that. Imagine a world where there will be assurance that there will be a, a probable move plan. There's going to be peace of mind to the employees, what we call transferees or relocatees. That their value possessions will be safely handled and they'll be settled seamlessly. A mover does not move things. A mover does not move staff. A mover moves people. A mover moves experiences. A mover moves memories. Imagine a world where companies will not be making the last minute effort to look for service providers which sometimes leads them to con only consider one factor, which is price. In the first place. And in the first place, don't fully understand the ingredients that make a good move or even a bad mover. If you Google movers right now, the MC was asking us to Google, you find hundreds of companies popping up. Popping up. My colleagues from Nelios will bear me witness that sometimes people have come to us, we have given them a proposal, they have, accept, they have said, oh, you are too expensive, you are this, oh, I found another company. About six years ago, someone walked into my office and asked me, who, where, can you help me find this mover? I told them I don't know where they are. No, they are found in Google. Well, I also find them in Google, but I don't know where they are. Oh, I'm very sorry, I asked for your rates and I decided to move with XYZ. But now, my items are lost. And I can't find them. I don't know what to do. I told them, I'm very sorry. I wish I could help you because I also don't know where they are. And I was serious. I was not just being obstinate. I didn't know where they were. That is what we live in. Last year, Cecilia will be a witness. We had another case. Somebody who had bought some very uh, expensive items. I think, uh, not very expensive, but good uh, good. Uh, art somewhere from I'm only in a shop in Nairobi and that person was actually a con person and they had contracted us to do the moving and we couldn't find them even he couldn't find them where they were and we couldn't find them and we couldn't serve them it's such a dirty world in moving especially in Africa you start who do you know is not what you find online. Imagine a world where people and companies and societies at large will start changing their mindsets. They will stop complaining that moving is very stressful, but start appreciating that we have good expertise to help them navigate those challenges. Imagine a Kenya or an East Africa 
where companies and government departments started playing by the global level, where by applying the proven global best practices. For your information, we are local agents, we Nellians, of one of the largest global relocation companies in the world. And they are contracted, it's a US company, and they are contracted by government departments and companies all over the world. And we have handled many, many shipments on their behalf because they want people to settle in peace. That is why in the year 2024, we, the Nellions Movie and Relocations Company, have launched a service we call Managed Relocation Service. It is to take care of the corporates who truly care about their employees, who appreciate that their employees go through what their employees go through during the sorry, who appreciate that their employees go through moving agony, which money cannot compensate. Personal items are personal. Personal belongings belong to an individual. They are not corporate. Those companies and those organizations who know and hold that time is more valuable than money. And that failing to plan is equal to planning to fail. If you are in this room and your organization regularly moves employees and have many service providers, for example, you have an insurer, you have a company doctor, you have a lawyer, you have a travel agent, you should also be onboarding a relocation company to walk along with you, to help you navigate the challenges that go with employees, relocation, and even your other internal um, moving needs. There is so much we can offer, we offer from free advisory, move planning, move execution, Budget planning, money is very, very important. Sometimes, and many times, cheap is expensive. That can benefit your organization and all the employees. We have launched this service to give the companies the peace of mind they deserve. When they need to relocate their staff, their equipment, their furniture, their data centers, or documents, we are here to help accelerate the evolution of the industry and take Africa to the level that the rest of the world is playing at. From next week, those of you in this room and many more out there will be seeing our staff knocking your doors and asking for a discussion around this. I request you humbly to open our door, your doors for us. We come in good spirit, wanting to truly help you as you do your, what you do best, we show you how moving in da, is done in the best way possible. While we appreciate that moving is not a daily requirement, we ask for your support and your cooperation to help us elevate mobility in Africa to global standards. Ladies and gentlemen, I request you to rise up and stand up right now and join me in celebrating the launching of Managed Relocation Service by Nellions Moving and Relocations. Ladies and gentlemen, let's celebrate this brand new product. There we go. MRS is now in the market. Welcome to Kofi Tavadali, ladies and gentlemen. We are now officially out there. Beautiful. And like Cosmo said, we will be knocking at your doors next week. Please, Tafadali, make sure that you open your doors for us. Please, ladies and gentlemen, you may have your seats. Please, let's celebrate Cosmos as he takes his seat. Thank you very much.